Hey guys, Desert Alchemist here. I'm gonna do the follow-up video on mushroom cultivation. This is part two. On the first part, we did a video on making liquid cultures and making uh, spawn bags, bags that have uh, colon or grains that are sterilized, ready for colonization. So in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to inoculate and how to go about the next steps uh, for mushroom cultivation. So when you're doing this, it's always very important to make sure that your AC is turned off, there's no airflow in the room, you want stagnant air, you don't want any kind of airflow at all in the room. Uh, it's always important to also have this Bunsen burner. If you don't have a Bunsen burner or um, one of these alcohol lamps, you can also bring a lighter. The lighter uh, you can use to sterilize the needles. Um, either one is, is gonna be helpful. You also wanna have a clean area, clean table and some alcohol that you wanna mist over a paper towel. This is your working station. It has to be clean. Um, another very important thing is that usually when you're working with mushrooms, you want to wear gloves um, or long sleeve shirts. But in this case, we're only working with the culture and the um, spawn. And so they're inside sterilized containers. So we don't really need to worry about that. One thing that you do want to worry about always is to uh, wear a mask. I've been wearing masks before the pandemic. Any mushroom grower will grow a mask when they're working with mushrooms because your saliva carries a lot of bacteria and even just breathing over something can get that bacteria uh, to contaminate your uh, mushroom uh, product. So uh, always wear a mask and let's get started. Okay, so uh, now what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna inoculate this liquid culture. This is a liquid culture that I taught you guys how to make in the other video. As you can see, it is clear. You can see my finger through on the other side. That's what a liquid culture should look like when it's sterilized. If it's foggy or uh, cloudy and not see-through, you can't see your finger on the other side, it means it's gone bad. And in this video, I'm going to show you a little still shot of what the liquid culture should look like once it's colonized, once it's got little clouds of mycelium floating around. You'll see the floating clouds of mycelium, but in the, in the liquid part, you'll still see that it's clear. So I'm going to show you that in the video. But for now, what I'm going to do is we're going to uh, inoculate it with my buddies. Uh, Aldman the Garricus liquid culture that he sent me. This is my friend, terrestrial fungi. Gonna use this culture. We're gonna inoculate this one so that it'll grow in this jar. And so I'm gonna turn my little lamp back on. And what we're gonna do is um, take the needle out, place the cap face down on the alcohol part of the uh, rag. We're gonna sterilize the syringe under the flame until it gets red hot. And then we're gonna let it cool for a couple seconds, 30 seconds or so. We're gonna remove the foil on top of the jar. And as you can see, this is our inoculation port. That is the port, this is the part where the uh, um, air gets into the liquid culture. Now, normally we would get, wait until it gets completely cool, but since it's liquid culture and the water inside will cool the needle, we're just gonna stick it in. Once you find the, uh, the hole, stick the needle in. And I'm just gonna put in a couple of drops. As you can see, you saw some of the mycelium fly to the bottom. It's all, that's all you need is a couple of drops, push down on this injection port so it doesn't peel off, pull your needle out, and it seals automatically. Now what you want to do is suck the air or the, the liquid that got stuck in the syringe back down so that it reaches right here. Once it's at that point, you want to re-sterilize your syringe with the hot flame. 
once it's um, sterilized, I put the cap on quickly so that it doesn't melt. And then I let it cool elsewhere. Always very important to put your foil back on your liquid culture so that no contaminants fall in and they will fall in if you don't put it back on. And now we label it. So this is my uh, almond oyster. So I'm just gonna put AO and I'm gonna put the date, five, six, 21. And that's it. Label the liquid culture and then um, put it away. I'm gonna do the same step for this other liquid culture here. This is an old label, which we can remove. And uh, we're gonna inject this jar with a different uh, liquid culture that I have here. Um, actually, we're gonna use this one. This is a different liquid culture that I made at home. So same process, take off the uh, cap, put it face down here, heat up the um, needle until it gets red, then wait for it to cool. Once it's cooled, you can press it against the alcohol wet uh, napkin to cool faster. And then when it's ready to go, we inject into the injection port if we can find the hole we're in. So now what we do is just put a few drops of this in there. Uh, and uh, I actually put the rest of it in there because there's only a little bit and I wanted to make sure that it does colonize properly. So I'm gonna take the needle out, cover it back up. There's virtually nothing in here, but we can try and use this on a bag perhaps. Same concept though, just re-sterilize the needle Put the cap back on if you have the skill, you know, if you're quick, you can put it back on without burning the plastic. And of course, date it again. Uh -huh. And this is a uh, 620. Okay. And that's how you inoculate your liquid culture. Same process is done for the um, spawn bag. So the spawn bag is the same process, just a little bit of a different technique. What you wanna do is when you have the culture that you want to inoculate into the spawn bag, you take your needle, you will sterilize again. This time we will wait until it cools down because these ones, the bags will melt if it's too hot. So there's no liquid to cool off the syringe or the needle here. So in the meantime, while that's cooling, you wanna pull the back part of the plastic away from your injection port and you wanna place your injection port directly on the grain so that when you penetrate it with your needle, it's going into the grain and it's not piercing the back of the bag. Because if you pierce your bag, it will make a hole and then contaminants will uh, fly in and ruin your spawn. So I think it's about cool now. You wanna flick the syringe to break the mycelium up, make sure that you, you know, it disperses properly. Same concept, find the fattest or the thickest part of your inoculation port and stick your needle through it. Inject a couple of droplets and that's it. Pull your needle back. Suck in the excess fluid until it reaches this point right here at the top. And then sterilize your needle again. Throw the cap back in and it's good to go. Now this one, uh, same process. You can label it on the filter right here. Um, put 
put the label on the bag and the bag is good to go. So I'm gonna do one more demonstration for you guys so that you know how to do this at home. I'm gonna use a bigger bag. So sometimes your bags have a lot of air. They shouldn't have so much air, but sometimes they do. And that depends on whether you got the air out when you were sterilizing it or not. But it's all good. We're gonna use this, sterilize this uh, syringe here, putting the cap face down so contaminants don't fly onto the lid. Okay. Gonna let it cool for 30 seconds or so. And actually while it's cooling, you can uh, inspect it to make sure the mycelium doesn't get too thick. Sometimes the mycelium does get a little thick and it clogs the syringe. So we're gonna find out if this one is clogged. It kind of looks like there's mycelium growing in there. If it is, then I'll have to get a new syringe. Um, and, but let's try it out now. Uh, significantly cooled by now. It's just a little piece of metal. So I'm gonna find the thickest part of the inoculation port. Stick my syringe in there. And it's clogged, see? Um, the mycelium didn't go through, which means it's clogged. Uh, this means this syringe is not gonna work. So I'm gonna have to go home and put a new syringe on this, or a new needle on, on this syringe. So it looks like it's not gonna let me plunge. So I'm gonna take it out, take it home replace the needle, get that mycelium out to clean it out. Uh, so we'll just try it again with uh, chestnut. I'll we'll try this one. I'm gonna clean this up, uh, sterilize it. Wait a few minutes. Uh, okay. Now this one looks clean. I don't see thick mycelium growing in inside of the uh, needle. So I'm gonna spray it with alcohol to cool it faster. Looks like it's about good now. I'm gonna inject this with this needle. And I'm just gonna put a couple of drops of mycelium. Looks like we got some mycelium in there. Pulling it back out sucking the excess liquid culture out. Gonna re-sterilize. And that's it. That's how you uh, inoculate your bags and your liquid cultures. In about a week, you'll start seeing mycelium growing here. I'm gonna show you uh, an image of what the bag will look like when it's fully colonized but you should see a little spot of mycelium growing. When, you wanna, when it grows, you wanna break it up with your fingers and spread it all over the bag, get it to the bottom as quickly as you can, get it all over so that it colonizes faster. This will speed up your growth uh, like by tenfold. So um, when you see the mycelium, it means it's colonizing. If you see green, uh, pink, or any other color that's not pure white, that means you got a contamination. If you see a lot of slime, means you have a lot of contamination, but uh, if you see white, that means you're good. And uh, that's pretty much it. So this is how you uh, uh, inoculate your mushroom spawn and your liquid culture. So we'll catch you guys in the next video. I'm gonna show you guys what to do after this.